sometimes instead of having bubbles in your maps, you want lines. So how do you do it? I'm sure that the Azure map can do that, but it's paid, probably disabled. How do you do it without costing you a penny? That's what we're going to do in today's video. So the question here is how do we go from that, which is the standard Power BI map, to that, which is lines. Instead of having the bubbles, we have the lines. And for these, we're going to use a custom visual, one of the best custom visuals that there is for the Power BI X system, and it's called the icon map. I'm going to show you how to do this. A quick look at the data. This is how it looks for me. This is the coordinates for the subway stations in Stockholm. So we have a few lines and each line has a route and I have the route ID. And this data set has the sequence of the stops. So it says this is first stop, second stop, third stop, and the coordinates for it. Lovely. So what we're going to do first is create the bubble map. In case you don't know, I tag these as latitude and longitude in here. So you, Harvey I knows that there are coordinates. And we use the normal map, which is in here. Very weird. It never gets it. So let's do it again. Latitude and then longitude. OK, cool. Horrible background, you don't see the point. So we're going to use the dark version of it. Please, Power BI team, I want the formatting pane hanging in here. Don't make me go here. Please. So map settings, dark, not light, dark. I want to have the dark and then we see a little bit better. With better color and non-transparency, we start seeing things. Now, how do we go from here to the line map? So. The icon map supports well-known text, and well-known text has a function that is called line stream that takes the longitude, pay attention, longitude, longitude and then latitude, and then comma, and then longitude and latitude, and it connects the points based on the order that you give it to them. So if we create these with our data, then we can plot it with the icon map, Lovely. So let's do the working part of query and then we download the icon map. Go back to part of query. I'm going to duplicate this so you get both maps. This is going to be, I'm going to put this on the download center. It will be 085, I think. So this is going to be lines. And the first thing that I'm going to do is put this together. Remember, it's longitude and latitude, not the other way around. It won't work. So I'm going to merge these. And I'm going to call this coordinates and separator, I want to have a space. So now we have for each stop, the longitude and the latitude. Now coordinates, um, the line string requires the, de the, the numbers to be a dot. So if you're in Europe and you have a comma, it will not work. You have to transform it to dot first. I had all kinds of problems creating these, so I'm going to tell you everything I run into so you don't have to. So make sure that is 17 dot, not comma, and then space. Right, so now we need to group these by root ID. So I have here the sequence, they are in order, so when I do the concatenation, they will get concatenated in order. If you don't have this, you need to have it. So you know in which order you should connect the lines, obviously. So how do we do this concatenation by group? I've shown you previously, but let's do it again. So by root ID, we're going to, I'm going to leave this as is, count rows, but now we're going to change the text, or the code. So this is going to be my root, and this is going to be text dot combine. And then we're going to have here my column that is called coordinates. And then this, you know, how do you want to concatenate them? In this case, it's going to be by comma. And that's all you need. So now I have this string for the, for the, for this root, the one for that root, the one for that root. Cool, right? Now remember, I need to add line string and then a parenthesis. You can either do this in Power Query or you can do this in Power BI. I prefer to do all the transformations in Power Query and then everything is loaded and ready to go for Power BI. 
So I'm going to, there are a million ways you can do this, but I'm going to add a suffix, which is going to be the end, so the end parentheses, and I'm going to add a prefix, which is going to be, make sure you spell this correctly, because I did then, and I got into trouble, line string, and then open a parentheses. So it will put it in the beginning. And now that we have these, close and apply, unload. Right, so we go in here, we're going to call these line. And with a new pane, you cannot just put a visual for us, you want to put data for us. Fine, I can live with that. So I'm going to put the root ID, for example, so I can actually go here and download the icon map. Here's the icon map by James. James, you are amazing. What a wonderful job. I mean, that visual, it just does everything. You just need to figure things out a little bit and then it's just wonderful. So, change it to the icon map. And now, you need to have here categories required and you need to look because size is required too. I'm going to put the root ID also as size. Uh, and then I will put it as a distinct count because I don't want the bubble size to be bigger. We're not going to see any bubbles, but regardless. Now, what you need to do is to go to more options and here an object on his website, you can see all the details for these. Here, we're going to put our root, you know, the line string stuff that we created. And once you have it, look at that. Now, I want to have a background that is a dark background, so I want to have the map box dark. For that, you need to have a token, so if you go and sign for a map box, you can get a free uh, token that you can put in here, so you can get your base for free, basically. So I'm going to get and grab the code just a second. Once you put your token in there, make sure that you select something else and go back because it needs to like kind of refresh, send the query out. Um, and now we barely see the line, so we need to go to format in and just, you know, pick a, a color that you like, whatever it is. And then you can just play with the settings so you can have like lighter and darker and all that stuff. And that way you can get your line chart and there you have your line chart that's all you need to know so again thank you James for your custom visual is really really good and um, that's all for me I will see you again in the next one